Yes! So we made a profit today. We took more than 20 peps from the market and our daily goal is 20 peps. If I can repeat this on a daily basis and just take 20 peps out of the market, I can make a bunch of peps, a lot of money and get rich fairly quickly. Yeah, right. If it were just that easy. So today I want to talk with you about setting daily goals and have realistic expectations from the forex trading. Stay tuned, we are coming right back. Oh, so we have a tasty subject today. Do we need to have a daily goals when it comes to trading? And what is it to be expected from you as a trader or from any other trader uh, to make? So how, how much money should we make on a daily basis? Or do we need to make some money at all? Well, today I will answer those two questions. Uh, first of all, should you have daily goals? If you if you've been following me for a time or some time right now, you'd probably know that I'm uh, one of those traders that are that have fairly realistic and for most of the people out there, uh, very 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 conservative approaches to monthly, yearly, daily returns that a, a forex trader can make. And that's solely because I I was struggling for that many years. I was struggling for two years, you know. Uh, being dragged through the mud and all of that stuff and I, I couldn't get I couldn't see a light at the end of the tunnel and then what I needed is structure in my trading I needed a rule-based approach I think the most of you do and uh, but not the rule-based as you think you, you have a strategy so for example uh, something goes down RSI stochastics go there is a cross you buy but you don't buy each and every time when you should you should buy each and every time so when you have a strategy, when you have a structure in your mindset, in your trading, that you, you will take each and every trade that presents itself, which is according to your rules, you kind of get to the point that, you know, you're not going to get trades in each and every day. Uh-uh, you're not going to get trades. You're not going to get those opportunities each and every day. Because look, if you have a strict rules, definitive rules, like three, three rules, let's say, Price goes oversold. You need a low, high, 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 high close candle, and you click buy on market. You put your stop losses somewhere below the, that swing low, and you ride the market. That's not gonna happen each and every day in the market. Yeah, it might happen on like on many pairs, on some of them if you're trading bunch of them. However, you don't know is the same strategy profitable on all of those pairs. So when it comes to realistic goals and uh, should you actually have a daily goals basically? No, no, because you don't know what's going to happen. And if you have that daily goals, then you will force yourself to get in a trade that's maybe or chances are not per your rules. Then you're breaking your rules, you're going against yourself, you're not approaching the trading like a professional trader would. And that means like, you know, I, I'm trying to hit my daily goal. That's part of my plan, but I'm not taking the trades I should. I'm taking low, lower probability trades just to hit that goal. So meaning I'm risking more. I'm in uncharted waters. I'm not, I don't know what to expect because that's not that same trade that I back tested it, that I have the example of over 100 trades and I know what to expect. So what are you doing? You're hurting your trading, in my opinion, by having set daily goals. Solely because you will not get opportunity each and every day in the market. And uh, for example, for, for the past week of trading, I got like one trade. One single trade for 45 pips winner. That's it. I didn't get any other opportunity. So I, wouldn't, I didn't engage myself. I know that when you are starting out, that you might think I gotta be trading. You have this excitement, excitement in yourself that you, and you want to start trading immediately. You want to be engaged in the market. You want that action. But when you mature as a trader, that will kind of slowly vanish. And you, you just check the charts each and every day or each and every hour or every four hours and see did the opportunity show up. If it did, you take action. If it didn't, you know, you close the chart and you wait for another hour to pass depends on the time frame that you're trading so again i'll repeat 
no point of having daily goals. I know that many traders out there uh, say that you got to have daily goals. But look at this. On a day, I, I, this is just one argument that goes to my benefit, to my thinking benefit, basically. Because at some point, I, I made, for, let's say that I had a daily goal of 20 pips, right? So I took a trade and made, it made me 25 pips. And then immediately on a second of my peers, another trade shows up and uh, I shouldn't be taking it, right? Because I set my, I, I already got my daily goal target. I already hit it with the first trade. So what should I do right now? Should I skip the trade that I know the expectancy of, that I know that it's 70% profitable, 60%, and that I know it's profitable strategy and profitable pair in the long run? You know, that, that just doesn't fit together well. Either you have a backtested strategy, backtested plan, and you stick to it, and you don't take daily trades if, if the, if they don't show up, or you're trying to push yourself and t take those trades that are not per your plan. Yeah, so because sometimes in a week you can have a 600 pips winner, you know, a couple of trades, and sometimes you just sit on the sidelines and take, take just that, that one trade that makes you 45 pips. That's all. That's all there is to daily goals and my opinion on it. Now, let's talk about the yearly expectations or monthly expectations or, uh, uh, what is it? Quarterly expectations from a trader. Uh, social media tells a lot about it. You can compound the trading accounts and make up to 10%, 20% per day. Well, that's like bullshit. That's, I, I haven't heard a bigger bullshit in many years. You know, it's not, it, that's not gonna, that's not trading, by the way. That's gambling. Because when you're pushing your, yourself, your account, so to gain 10% per day, that means, first of all, you don't know shit about trading. Second of all, your chances are, chances are uh, that you're risking way too much to gain way too little, right? And you're, you, you're just approaching trading with that gambler's mindset and not the trader's mindset. Because if you're approaching trading as a trader, you need to be here for the long run. You need to stay in the market. You need to win. Or you need to, when you lose, you need to lose uh, small so that... Uh, when you so that you can be here for those winning periods uh when when your strategies will pull pull profits print profits from the market and a lot of people on social media commercialize and uh, advertise the approach of 10 percent per day 100 percent per month thousand percent per year which is highly unlikely and i don't think uh that's realistic what realistic expectations are is basically more three to four percent per month top like that, if you can pull out three to four percent per month, that means that you're like highly experienced trader, pro trader. That 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 would sum up and uh, over fifty percent per year. Imagine now netting a uh, fifty percent return on a million dollars, right? Five hundred thousand dollar dollars per year just from trading, just for from looking at your charts, like just for following your plan. Uh, just for backtesting everything and, uh, you know, just being there waiting for the rules to ready, waiting for the price action to meet your rules and then taking action. Isn't that enough? Right? Some people say, okay, yeah, man, but I can, like, I can make, I can flip thousand dollars account into five thousand dollars account for a, well, what is it? 500% return? Well, that's not the point because when you get a larger, larger account of a million, your mindset your thinking, your, your, your feelings will not be the same because, yeah, although a lot of people are saying you gotta watch pips and percentage, we as humans, we are hardwired to, you know, when we have money, we look at money. So when you get a million dollars account, you, 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 it will just not be the same feeling. You will have that fear. You, you will feel the excitement. You will make more mistakes than you've made uh, when you had a thousand dollars account, when you were willing to risk 50% of the thousand dollars, it's just 500 bucks. When the 50% of a million dollars is half of a million dollars, probably the money that most of us will never make in our lifetimes. So that's the whole point. It's not the same flipping a thousand dollars account into five grand or flipping a mill account into five mill account. So have that in mind, have a really realistic expectations, forget about social media, forget about social media gurus. Yeah, sure. There are some good educators there, 
uh, but you can easily find them by just checking out what they have to say on the realistic expectations, what they can, what do they advertise. And with that being said, guys, thank you very much for watching this video until the end. This is a daily education video that I do a few times per week. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, click that subscribe button, smash the bell button, click that like button, and yeah, share the video so that as many people as possible can see so that we can help as many people as possible. Thank you very much and talk to you soon.